I found the cars why the fork wouldn't go into full travel so it's from this little guy here so the damper wouldn't retract all the way for some reason it seems like some water in there another bad news is that uh, the boat here as you can see the thread is all gone may not see where on the GoPro but I need to check it out and see what happened see what I can do with with that <music> So, I, I was right about my hypothesis. So basically, this damper wouldn't retract all the way. So it's supposed to go at least 100 millimeter because this fork is 120. But let's say 100 for the sake of um, simplicity. So let's say 4 inch. It's supposed to retract for 4 inches. But what it seems to me that it wouldn't go over, let's say 3 inches from what um, the market here that's the mark is roughly about three inches and that's exactly what happened because I feel the harshness when I hit the big jump not a big jump it's just a two three foot drop in the university so it is confirmed that something wrong with the fork and um, I need to find out what happened but because this one is a CU system so I can't really do anything much about it and I probably have to um, get a replacement and um, that's gonna be the way to fix this thing so nothing wrong with the spring something wrong is with the damper so what I'm doing here is just try to confirm that something wrong with the valve I mean the internal valve system in the damper and it just confirmed that the damper is dead all right Here's the thing, this thing can pretty much travel this much, so there's a mark here, so it's about 3 inches, and that's not gonna cut it, I mean, I can't write, so basically it's an internal problem, and nothing I can do about it, because it is a CU system. This is a temporary place for my bike, it's a train at the car park, <laughs> so that's how I can let the um, stanchion stay clean and not get my bike stolen so this still an uh, ongoing process it's still um, gonna take a lot more time that's probably my fault because the fork is intended for cross country you know what I mean and uh, what I'm doing is pretty much free riding I pretty much you know put a lot of abuse um, onto the fork and the bike in general as you can see in my video all right so today's home edition of home mechanic home diy by pete <laughs> so we're trying to fix a problem with my damper sr santour um, radon so basically it couldn't travel in full travel right it's got a nitrogen cartridge and uh -huh. it's failed it failed and it's acting like a incompressible it's got hydraulic Object. lock, hasn't it? It's sucked all the fluid in. <laughs> yeah. And it's gone solid. So we drained pretty much like a few syringes of um, oil. We've drilled it out. We released the pressure. Where do we drill it, sir? There, at the bottom of the <coughs> leg. Okay. So we've got the first hole there. Uh-huh. So that when that dampens, that will suck, push oil into the system. Yeah. And we'll have a release at the top. Uh-huh. So when it goes up and down, this will be an open. But this one has like a like some mechanism here. Yeah, Maybe but we'll we have put to... the hole lower down because yeah. the mechanism's there. So we'll put a tiny hole there. So we have to make a judgment where is the best location yeah, for the hole. Yeah, because if you've got so much stuff there, and I will go lower down about here. Yeah, because you've got stuff there, and it's going to be a tiny hole. I'm literally just going to break so the surface. So you will make the judgment on that. Oh yeah, because it's never been done on this one. So okay, it's my cool. fault. <laughs> Your first. My first. <laughs> the first time. So, oh dear, my well, roommate is gonna kill me. So I, I'm gonna clean it up. Just need to clean it. Today we try to do different things. That's kind of the same. We're open bathing the damper. Yeah. Open bath. 
It's with the other man. Kids, do not do that at home. Because we just spill lots of oil in the living room. Yeah. Noise. We got it. Squish it normal. So basically, we effectively turn this damper. No, it's an open bath system. Yeah. Open bath. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it works better, I think, with yeah. my personal opinion. Why people just being a dick about open bath system, by the way? I read in the internet. It's old technology, but it still works. So the hack is that put everything in there. Try to lock this thing to the lower lock leg. Lock it to the bottom and yeah. you'll have a seal and then put it all back together and then everything should work as normal. So and it be should be open bath system. Open bath system and it'll be a lot better. All right. Thanks for coming, Pete. <laughs> Two minute job. Yeah. Two. Um, I went on the Suntour website, the UK website, and this thing is 55 quid and that price is unbelievable because the bike right now is I don't think I can sell my bike more than 100 pound let's say 150 pound the best and I don't want to invest anymore in this bike because it is just uh, my commuting bike the bike that I go shopping just go to the university anyway effectively what we're gonna do is that we drill the holes and we turn the system into open bat system. So the downside is that you're gonna need a lot of oil and the potential of oil leakage onto the fork, um, the dust seal and whatsoever part. Right, so I went to home base and paid um, £2.24 for this high tensile. Maybe some people are gonna freak out right now that why don't you get a, a genuine part and look at this just a bolt with holes so you have the hole so you can put in the um, allen key to adjust the rebound but in this case we're not gonna have a proper rebound because basically we drill the hole right here so I suppose the control is not gonna be there you can't I don't think you can actually still control the rebound or whatever